It wasn't until I was about 75 metres from the finish that I thought this is possible that I actually win Paris Roubaix. And you could dream and something I've really only dared dream about. It almost felt like I was somewhere else. Um, I didn't realise what I'd done. I wasn't quite sure I needed to throw my hands up or what I should be doing or how I should be feeling. Everyone wanted to know how I was feeling and I was just in disbelief. My name's Matthew, um, I'm an Australian. I ended up coming to Belgium following my passion to be a cyclist and turn professional and, and Belgium's a mecca for cycling. I'm pretty hard on myself I would say if you had to class my personality as far as training goes, I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Six weeks ago things weren't going quite as well for me. Um, I was in uh, Het Newsblad and um, I had a crash on a cobbled section and uh, I had a fracture in the radius bone in my elbow. So my arm was in plaster for, uh, for 10 days and I thought all of my classic seasons were, was over. And injuries are probably the, the hardest time any athlete will have. Um, you know, if you get beaten, that's, that's it. You're doing what you love, but sitting at home, watching everybody else out there doing your sport, um, that was pretty tough. Ai, 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 weer een verhakkeld stukje peloton daar in de Haaghoek. En er zit er ook weer van Orika eentje ja, helemaal zelfs. tegen de kant. So, this was uh, the brace I had to have on for, for three weeks to try and train with. I um, was wearing it out training and uh, first when I was in the garage training on the stationary bike. But I was uh, looking at this wall here for... Uh, had my computer up here. I was doing a number of hours every day on the three or four hours a day on the on the home trainer, looking at the wall and uh, trying to trying to keep my heart rate and keep fit. So uh, so I could still when I came back to racing, I'd be close to where I left off. So this is what I got for all that hard work in the garage. And um, today, people have been asking me to hold it, but um, I'm actually having more trouble with my arm holding this rock than I was training or racing in Roubaix so it's been pretty sore holding it so I might leave it here for a while. I need to find a great spot to put it, um, it's going to be pride of place uh, wherever I live I think. Uh, at 37 I'm getting towards the end of my cycling career so I'm not sure where to go from here. Um, we feel at home in Belgium, We've, uh, this is our spot for our family um, but we're very much Australians at heart. But, this is where our home is at the moment.